You bear the mark. You bear the mark. Uh, you're you're typically much more expressive than I am, so you get into a lot of the thumbnails I've, I've recently noticed. Yeah. You'll do like wild things with your hands. Wild. Um, I turned your glass beer into a star a galaxy beer. That's going to get released tomorrow. Check that out, episode out if you want. Uh, what are we drinking today? Uh, Robert Pattinson's uh, what? Delight. I don't know. That's the first vampire thing I could think of was him. I couldn't think. Edward. Why vampires? Edward. Edward Jizz. Why vampires? It's like blood fucking red. It's yeah, like yeah. if you have a pool of blood. Yeah. Uh, we're drinking a nectar berry farmhouse ale. I don't know what a nectar berry is, so I'm gonna be honest. I have no clue. Do you know what a nectar berry is? I'll find maybe, out it's, for you. maybe it's nectar okay. from the berry. And no, I think it's a nectar berry. Huh. I think it's probably one of those that you walk by while you're hiking. And you're like, that's poisonous, and it's not. <laughs> it's actually delicious. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. Uh, that's fair. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I imagine a nectar berry tastes like. Ah! Uh, <laughs> see, this is why I don't believe anyone when they're like, it's not sour. Is it like a blackberry? It is. It's just a blackberry. blackberry. It's a variety of blackberries. Ah. Interesting. This does... I'm going to be honest. This, I, I do see the blackberry. Oh, 100%. It's like a... But it's like a... Right before it gets like super dark, it's like a reddish black blackberry. Like it's got a little tartness to it. Um... It's almost a little whiny, kind of like a really fruited blackberry wine kind of Very vibe fruited. going on, but yeah. a little carbonated. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's that bad as far as like uh, as like sours go for you. So uh, sour. It, it is tart, but it's not like a it's not like a sourdough sour. No, it's, you know, it's not a bready sour, which I I think is for me anyways. I think that's the that is worse. So we're not sour people. I think uh, as far as tiers of sourness goes, the bready sour is bottom. Like in the Belgian style yeah, beer type that's, thing. That's yeah. really uh, what I tend to reject. I get that. I'm, it's, and I'm with you. Not too bad. I like this. I don't love this. It's like an unripe blackberry. I mean, that, those are good to me. Yeah. I don't. It's not, no. But I... I can see why somebody would love this, especially like in the warmer weather that we're starting to get. I feel that. It's refreshing. Yeah. Uh, the other good thing is like if you are headed to a brewery and you like beer, this would probably be a good option. If you're going to a brewery and you don't like beer, don't like beer. Yeah. I heard, and you do like beers. What I heard, no, you don't like beers. Roll it back. Uh, yeah, no, a hundred percent though. Yeah, this is one of those for sure. Uh, you're a cider guy. You you'd probably like this a lot. Or woman. Yeah. Or sound. If you like cider, you might like this a lot. If you like beer, you might like this a lot. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea, uh, mostly because it's beer and not tea, but also it's when I want beer, like I don't want something sour, like sweet and sour. That's not what I want when I want a beer. Uh, not to, again, not to say that it's just like not good, it's just not what I want when I want a beer. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of get that. I would say like for me, I typically don't want like fruity. Sure. Right. That flavor profile doesn't come up in my brain when I think I want a beer. And I should I should refine my statement from sweet to fruity. Fruity and sour is just not what I typically want when I want a beer. Um, and I don't think that's like what anyone thinks of when they think of beer. Because if you want, like for you anyways, if you want like this kind of flavor profile, like, you're you're probably saying, I want a margarita. You're not thinking I want a beer. 100%. 100 right. million percent. So I get that for sure. Yeah. Um, what do you want to rate it? We're at E9, by the way. I don't think you mentioned that. We're at E9. Uh, we're so disorganized. Though. Do the YouTube stuff. Like, come subscribe if you want. I would like it. You don't have to if you don't like me. Uh, like it because you like Levi. Um, I am going to go with a 
B minus. I think that's fair. I have no more words to say about it because this is just not me. And I, I think I, I think for for this, like in comparisons to other farmhouses and stuff, I'm probably like a B plus. Um, yeah, I think uh, there are farmhouses that aren't fruited. They just they're funky. More, yeah, they they got some funk to them. Yeah, those are probably like more of more okay. around what I like, and then. Um, I would say, like, this is probably a little bit sweeter than I would like. I, would, I typically enjoy, uh, like, fruited beers to be a little bit more tart mm. for me. Like, I, the big cherry is, like, top tier for me. I feel the exact opposite because I am I am fine with, and you don't really like cider at all, I'm fine yeah. with drinking cider because I would rather it be a little sweeter and not so sour. Like... It's hard for me to just like right. sip into a sour punch straw. I don't, I'm enjoying, it. but I mean that's the point to each your own. Exactly. Uh, that's why they have multiple beer options. There's no, there's no one correct option. Well, shooting the hands. Nectarberry. We now know what it is. Welcome to this educational episode, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Remember, science is a liar sometimes.